What's up guys, Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com and also OneStepPrep.net for all things personal development. If you didn't know, I have that website as well, a little more personal site. Anyways, in this video, I want to talk about landing and how to hopefully land a little bit smoother um, as for those of you that are transitioning from a straight wing, uh, maybe a turboprop, maybe a GA airplane, and really even if you're not, you've got a lot of experience, hopefully these tips are going to help you. Step number one, first thing I want to mention, the engines are mounted under the wings. One of the common things I see for new pilots transitioning to underwing mounted engine jets is that they are not quite expecting the thrust vectoring effect that this underwing mounted engine has. Let me expand on that. If I add thrust, the nose comes up pretty considerably. Likewise, if I reduce thrust, the nose will come down considerably. Now, of course, in the landing flare, there's a thrust reduction that's happening. And when the thrust reduces on the approach, roughly in a 7.3 or 320, you're looking at somewhere in around four, four degrees of pitch attitude, 60% and one. So when you reduce the thrust in the flare, naturally the nose is going to have a nose down tendency. And if you're not prepared for that, all right, you would expect that because that nose down tendency is happening, you're going to have a higher sink rate and that may look to uh, lead to a little bit more firm landing as you transition into this flare portion. Okay, so that's the first thing is be prepared for a little bit more nose up elevator than what maybe you're used to because of the reduction of thrust. Now the other thing you can do by the way is always number one, follow the technique of the flight crew training manual for the airplane you're flying, which in general for a 320 or 7.3 suggests about 30 feet thrust reduction. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you that, you know, do, do it very slowly, do it gently, do it easily. Don't look to like chop it right away because that's only going to further exasperate the nose down pitching tendencies. Ease off that power and don't be too much in a rush so that that underwing mounted engine helps you to keep that nose up and doesn't allow for that aggressive nose down pitch tendency. That's the uh, one of the things I want to mention. Next thing, the cockpit sits a little bit higher. For those of you transitioning from a, a smaller aircraft, maybe you're in a Pilatus PC-12, even a CRJ, that has the engines mounted on the tail or a corporate jet or anything to that effect. When you make your way into a 7.3, a 320, a 787, or a 350, really any of the transport category jets, you're sitting higher, which means things have to be done higher, including the initiation into the flare, right? And so a lot of things that I, a lot of times what I see is flaring too low is a big issue for transitioning pilots. So be ready to have a different sight picture not only in the flare, but also now going to point number three on the approach as a whole. These wings are swept. Swept wing jets fly great fast. They do not fly good slow, which is why they build in slats on the leading edge so that we can actually slow down for the approach. Now, the thing is on the approach, we carry a nose up pitch attitude. You heard me say roughly about plus four degrees. That's true on a 7.3 or 320. Those of you flying an ATR or a Saab or a Metroliner, you're probably used to coming in more like this, nose down, even a CRJ 200 nose down like this, right? And then transitioning very aggressively more so or more pronounced into a flare. On a 320 or a 73 where we have slats up front, you're already on a nose high pitch attitude. So your deck angle's higher, your sight picture's different, you're already in the approach in a quote unquote small, not so pronounced, but kind of a little bit of a flare almost on the whole approach, right? So now as I get into the more formal flare or down towards the later part of the landing, you're gonna need a little bit uh, of nose up elevator, not only because of the flare, but because of the undermounted wing, um, undermounted engines of the wing, and also, the sight picture is considerably different because you're already nose high. And the tendency then is because you're already nose high and you're seeing that, you feel like you shouldn't be flaring as much when the truth is you probably need a little bit more than what you think just because your, seating, your sight picture and how you're seated is different than what you're used to. So, three things to keep in mind. One, sight picture is different. Firstly, because you're higher. Second, because of the slats, which keep you under nose high pitch attitude. Second, nice and easy on the thrust reduction because these underwing uh, mounted engines will have that tendency to bring the nose down. The last thing, I said three things I wanted to point out is, um, and I have another video where I talk about this. Once we touch down, we want to make sure we get the nose getting down, flow, flying it down. Uh, to the runway. What we don't want to do is hold off for aerodynamic braking or something to that effect. Remember the spoilers deploy, which will cause a nose of pitching tendency. And if you're still trying to hold aft pressure to quote unquote, um, uh, what do they call it in the world of GA? Aerodynamic braking, right? So that's not something we do in the world of jazz. We're just going to gently fly the nose down to the runway, allow for that spoiler action to happen, allow the reversers to come in and generate that maximum stopping force. All right. So hopefully this helps you. You want to rent a sim and go fly with us and um, get your energy management, get your approaches, get your flare and landing touchdown nice and smooth on center line and in the touchdown zone, by the way, which is the most important thing, center line touchdown zone, all right, smooth 
points for smoothness later on, but the primary thing is the first two, the center line touchdown zone. So, but you want to perfect it. You want to perfect that with us in a sim. You know where to find us, onestepprep.com. You can book a sim with us. You can book a ground school with us. Really, you can book a whole type rating. You can book whatever you want with us. We're looking forward to doing it with you. Joe Munoz, Juan Dominguez, your friends in training program success. We'll see you here in Miami.